The following is a production of the University of Minnesota. Hello, I'm Dr. David Pauley from the University of Minnesota. I'm here to talk today about the placement of thoracic pedicle screws. Thoracic pedicle screws were probably first used by Professor Raymond Roy Camille in the treatment of fractures. Subsequently, Professor Sook from Korea adopted their use for the treatment of adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. Initially, this treatment was met with skepticism, but many surgeons learned the technique and became convinced that it appeared to give better treatment results than other strategies. In placing these screws, there are two basic trajectories that are currently used today. These include the straightforward and the anatomic trajectory. The straightforward trajectory parallels the superior end plate of the instrumented vertebra. This has better biomechanical properties with a higher insertional torque. The anatomic trajectory bisects the sagittal axis of the pedicle. This has the advantage of having a slightly larger bony channel compared to the straightforward trajectory. In placing pedicle screws, the use of adjunctive technologies can be helpful. Screws can be placed freehand, utilizing anatomic knowledge of start points and then tactile feedback to assess the screw tract as it is developed and tapped and then the screw is placed. C-arm can be used in either the coronal or sagittal projection to identify start points and ensure the screw is passing along the course of the pedicle. Image guidance technology, which utilizes either preoperative or intraoperative 3D imaging and virtual tracking of the tools, allows the surgeon to uh, see a virtual path along the screw uh, for placement. And then finally, various forms of electrical stimulation have also been used. These include stimulating the probe, the tap, or the screw once it's been placed, or utilizing a special tool that uh, gives electrical impedance measurements as the pedicle channel is created. 